Welcome back to the WSAV Thursday Night Blitz Game of the Week. Now your Savannah Powers Sports Center Halftime Show. And we have a good one ahead. I'm Ken Slats from WSAV. Jeff Faith joining me. Jeff, thanks for coming up to the booth. Well, thanks for having me. First of all, let's talk about this stadium here. They named this stadium, gave it some naming rights today, and a big, beautiful facility on the road for you guys down here in Bradwell. Yeah, it is, and I'm quite envy. I, I love this stadium, and uh, we, uh, we'd we like to have a stadium like this over at South Effingham High School, but beautiful facility, great hospitality from Bradwell and King Griffin and, and Scott, the, the principal, so it's been great so far. Well, Jeff, your football team um, – not being very nice to the hometown football team. What a great, great start. Of course, 35 nothing right now. Yes, sir. We, You know, all things are clicking right for us right now. Uh, great coaches, uh, student athletes are just pushing forward, continuing to be resilient and uh, putting forth their best effort. And as you can see tonight, they're just playing well. They're playing as a team. Well, what, have you what have you learned quickly as stepping in as athletic, athletic director? Of course, Travis Dickey had been in that position for a while, but you're stepping in at a good time. What a, a great football season. And I know there's a lot of excitement about how far this team can go. So senior laden it is we are we're certainly excited for you know particularly our seniors right. uh, we have a very large senior class 26 i believe 23 26 um but it, it's juggling a lot right uh, as the Absolutely. new ad there's a lot of a lot of hats to wear uh, aside from just directing the athletic director so your bands up there they always mean a lot to this program too uh, as we kind of listen in on them as we do our interview here but you know how big is your band this year again and, and what do they mean to your program and your school we're well over 100, and they are part of the team. You right. know, we've always considered them as part of the team. We try to integrate the band, the Marching Mustangs, into the football game, keeping them in the stands, keeping them uh, as much as we can as part of the football team. Stellar program, Co uh, Mr. McBride. We call him Coach McBride Coach? a lot, Coach Mac. Okay. We, uh, he leads a fantastic program, has a, an excellent assistant uh, by Miss Miller, and uh, just great kids again. Uh, very, uh, they work hard, probably one of the hardest working groups that we have at the school. Sports still going up. Uh, volleyball, softball wrapping up. Uh, playoffs, though, I know both of them were in the playoffs, correct? That is correct. That is correct. We uh, lost first round for softball. Right. right. Uh, won uh, first round for volleyball and lost this Just past last night or two nights ago. That's correct. Lost to Cambridge, an incredible uh, volleyball team up there. and uh, So we completed our volleyball program, but, again, uh, just the girls played well all season. And leading forward then, it takes us into basketball season coming up. Of course, South Effingham, I know the girls' basketball team, the, the boys' basketball team, especially the girls, they've always been a very successful squad. I'm sure you're looking forward to that once again. That's right. That's right. We have Shay Leverett back. That's right. Uh, leading senior, the program. Senior, senior uh, committed to South Florida. And so we're excited to see how Coach Roddenberry leads those girls this season. And new boys coach, uh, okay. Coach Finland, will be leading our, our okay. guys this year. And uh, just again, just phenomenal uh, ability to just motivate the kids. Uh, has a basketball background, and uh, we're just, we're excited to see how it goes, and uh, excited how how basketball is just going to lead the way. Well, Continue this progress that we've had this season. Yeah, I'm sure you're excited about the football team, and you know how far can this team go? How much excitement is there surrounding around the school? And I'm sure the buzz team seems to be getting bigger and bigger each week. That is correct. We we are so excited uh, to be in the position that we're in, mm -hmm. and. Uh, our first goal was obviously make playoffs and run a and make a great state run. And uh, right now in the county, both schools only have one loss. That's right. So we love that as a county. And we you love guys both took the battle between them. We did. We won. The, <laughs> we won the rival game, but we are excited both for Effingham and for right. South Effingham and the charge that we've made so far in uh, the play or into the football. Uh, run this this year somewhere. and what a region that is of course with glenn academy in there and ware county and this is to me one of the best regions in the whole all of the state of georgia it, it is and we talk about it and and often we call it the sec of high school football <laughs> it, is, it is, is often is uh, because we have such a phenomenal region with right. Ware and and glenn and Brunswick the two Statesboro, Effingham's, the Brunswick Effingham's, Statesboro, so right, right, and Glenn's making and a, coffee and coffee, yeah, coffee. Uh, that's our one loss, of course, right. And uh, a great game down there again. Great, hosp you know, hospitality from Coffee County. Just great, great team down there, and uh, and we played well against them. We just right. fell a little short. Jeff Faith, uh, assistant athletic, excuse me, athletic director at South Effingham. Thanks so very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time and. Uh, it's 35 nothing South Effingham, and we're going to take this break. As we take this break, let's try and listen in just a little bit on the Mustangs band, one of the best bands in the land. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the WSAB Thursday Night Blitz Game of the Week. Now more of the Savannah Power Sports Center Halftime Show. 
Principal Scott Carrier at Bradwell Institute and yours truly, Ken Slots, with more of our halftime show on the Thursday Night Blitz. Thanks for stopping up. We appreciate it. Well, thank you. We appreciate you televising our game. Well, this is a beautiful facility, beautiful stadium down here. First of all, uh, kind of big. It is. It's, <laughs> we're very fortunate. Uh, our Board of Education really went all out when they built this stadium for us. Football team, it's been a struggle so far for wins and losses for head coach Greg Hill, but I know you have the right guy. It's, it's all about a culture, and he seems to be, be bringing that culture. And, you know, they, I think there have been three or four very competitive games this year. And uh, what, what does he mean to the program? And, you know, as a former college player himself, a professional player mm -hmm. himself, and also spending eight years under Steve Pennington at, at, at uh, Statesboro High School, mm -hmm. he's the, he seems to be the right guy. He is the right guy. He has done a great job for us. I know our win-loss record doesn't show that right now. But what we're looking at is to grow a program. Right. And Greg is the guy that's going to do that for us. And he's doing it by shaping these young men, starting with our ninth graders and building them on up through the program. And I'm very confident by the time these young boys become upperclassmen that we're going to have a very strong team. And then that's shown in our JV record this year, too. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, in your varsity team, um, maybe not tonight, but they've had some very solid football mm -hmm. games. Uh, you know, part of building a program, too, is part of what the history meant to it. And, you know, we saw earlier uh, today um, a great – 1965 team that won mm -hmm. a state championship at Old V Field, now out here in, in the renaming. Tell us a little bit about the, what happened beforehand and, and what's going on here in the video we're watching. All right, what, what we've done is uh, rename the stadium, Hokey Jackson Stadium. Up to now it has been named Old v Field, and we're keeping the name Old v Field as well. Okay. It's going to be uh, Old v Field at Hokey Jackson Stadium. And Hokey Jackson, of course, was a... A uh, longtime Bradwell coach back when we won the state championship back in 1965. And to show the, the type of loyal that he built within his players, those people that he coached back at that time were still very active in the process of having the stadium renamed after him. He shaped a lot of our community leaders, the people that are really leading uh, Hinesville today. Uh, did an outstanding job back when he was here. And again, the, the, the proof of that is all the people that showed up today 50 years later to to honor him yeah, and to see some of the players coming back that's a great sight and i think it's also important for the players of today to see this and to see what the history means because building a program you have to have history like this in order to build the future of a program and you know what does that mean to a young man whether you're a freshman sophomore junior senior to be able to see this and see some of these guys that came back that people still talk about in the community mm -hmm. you're exactly right and it does mean a lot to our young boys right now uh they they want to be able to perform like that they have a lot of heart uh, they, they put into it what they can put into it, and, and they want to see this program grow like that program did back in 1965. We're going to talk about a little more history. I don't know if you know this in Hinesville, but we're going to take you back right after maybe the Civil War. Um, another historical site in Liberty County, and you might not be a whole lot familiar with it. Incredibly important role in shaping civil rights today. It's Dorchester Academy. Our own Mountain Staunton takes us outside the stadium for this week's Blitz Inside Access. There is a rich history at the Dorchester Academy, built with money connected to the successful defense of the Amistad, the slave ship uprising. It was the first high school for blacks in Liberty County, but it was a training ground set up by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and others during the Civil Rights Movement. They needed a place to uh, train their nonviolent, and the nonviolence was here doing the 60 for the walk at uh, Selma. If these walls could talk, Bacon says they would tell a special part of the story of Dr. King as he walks the floors here, crafting a call for change in Liberty County. It told from sea to shining sea after the I Have a Dream speech, a speech that helped define a movement. Dr. King's space is set up just like it was when the slain civil rights leader was here at the Dorchester Academy in the company of Freedom Riders who came to Midway, Georgia, to peacefully go all the way for equality. It, it just every morning I wake up, I can't wait to get here because I, I love it. While this space may seem personally important to Bacon, its history resonates across the country. The Dorchester Academy is not only on the National Register of Historic Places, it's been designated as a National Historical Landmark. And Mr. Bacon says one of the advantages of actually seeing this space for yourself over a Google search on the internet is that there is a real difference between standing and breathing the air 
than looking at a screen. And you can see it and feel it. While this museum preserves a rich history, Mr. Bacon says Bradwell's appearance in a Thursday night blitz game of the week is good for the future of Liberty County, not to mention a great option for fans. So where are you going to watch the game? Tonight on my, at my house. On my LC? That's right. Mm -hmm. Best seat in the house. That's correct. That's the best seat in the house. Thanks so much to Martin Staunton. Great story. You know, I, I'll have to admit it, I, I moved down here from the north, but a lot of the communities we go to, they all have their own sense of deep, rich history. And boy, what a great piece that Martin did, and what a great piece of history here in Hinesville. Hey, we're very fortunate. There's a lot of history in Hinesville, and uh, we like to, to get that out there into the community, let people know about that. Scott Carrier, principal of Bradwell Institute, thanks so much for stopping by and joining us. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. We're going to take a break, and as we take this break, though, we're going to listen in on the band here at Bradwell. More of the second half coming up next.